Did you know that you have a secret credit report and score that lenders and credit issuers use to make like all kinds of decisions about you? You absolutely do. It's called check systems. And it actually is score and report that looks at how you handle your banking history. Today, we're going to go through check systems. You're going to know what check systems is, how they actually work. You're going to learn about how the reports work, how their scores work. You're going to learn how to access the reports at no cost, how to access your credit scores at no cost, how to dispute information on check systems, how to fix your reports, how to put security freezes, amongst many other things. If you want to be able to get the most money in your life personally and business-wise, you want to get the best terms. You need to make sure that all your credit reports, even the secret ones you don't know about, are mwah, beautiful. That way you have the best chance of getting the most money at the best terms. And it all happens by understanding things like check systems, how it works, and how to fix your reports. Let's dive in. So we've got a lot to cover today. Let's talk about check systems, who they are, and what they do. While business credit is built independent of social security number, you still need to focus on your consumer credit. I'll never tell you that consumer credit is not important. It's really important. It affects your ability to get a pay and to get approved for credit and financing as an individual and for your business. It includes the rates and terms that you'll pay are based on that. The limits that you'll be given are all based on things that are happening with personal or consumer credit reports as well. And check systems is one of these other credit reports you might know about, not know about that you need to access. Now, check system data can determine if you get a loan at all, no matter what your personal credit scores are. Your personal credit scores could be 800 and you could still get denied for credit and financing because of things that are on your check systems credit report. So because this is so important, it makes sense to do a deep dive, teach you how this works, and teach you how to control these check systems reports. So what is it? Well, according to their website, they are a nationwide specialty consumer reporting agency under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Check systems clients regularly contribute information on closed checking and savings accounts. So we can already see two things here. We can see that they deal with checking and savings accounts. They report data relating to how bank account management, how bank accounts are managed. We can also see that they're under the FCRA. The good thing about that is, is it means they're regulated by the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which gives you an easy process to dispute the information and to access your report. You're entitled to get your report, and you also have the ability to dispute information on the report because it's regulated under the FCRA, which business credit isn't. Okay, the second aspect of this is check systems provide services to financial institutions and other types of companies that have a permissible purpose under the FCRA. Let's talk about that. Permissible purpose means under the Fair Credit Reporting Act that somebody has your permission to pull your credit report. So if you go to apply, nobody can just get your check systems credit report. Like I can get your business credit reports. I don't need your permission to get your business credit reports, but I can't just go access your consumer credit reports because they're regulated by the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which says I need your permission or what the law says permissible purpose to get that credit report. So what it's saying here is that people that have your permission, you get a car loan, you get a mortgage, you get a credit card, you apply and give them your permission to pull your credit, that you are giving them the permission to also pull check systems. We can also see here that they're used by financial institutions. Most common place they're used is by banks and credit issuers. Okay. And it says check system services primarily assist its clients. Remember, its clients are not you. Its clients are the banks or the financial institutions they mentioned. It assists them in assessing the risk of opening new accounts. So what they're saying is we work with financial institutions. We help them they assess the risk of giving you uh, bank accounts, credit cards, loans, et cetera, by better assessing risk based on how you manage your bank account and that information they populate on a report and give to those financial institutions. Now, let's talk about what Check Systems is not. Well, they are not a collection agency. They will never contact a consumer as part of an effort to collect the debt and do not make unsolicited calls to consumers. They will never require payment from you as a consumer in order to investigate the accuracy of consumer credit reporting information. They can't do that under the FCRA, nor will it ever require payment in order to remove inaccurate consumer credit reporting information. Good job. I don't even know why they mentioned this. Like if they want a reward, they can't do those things under FCRA. So again, we see because they're regulated under FCRA that they have the ability for you to get a report and to dispute the information on that report. Now, according to them, again, Check Systems has been made aware of entities that may be holding themselves out to consumers as being associated with and for the purpose of charging consumers a fee to have information removed from their files. 
to have information investigated, to obtain a copy of the credit report, to attempt to collect monies from the consumer. Check Systems has no relationship. Basically, all they're saying here is that they're not affiliated with credit repair companies. They're just saying, hey, there might be companies out there that charge money to dispute information with us, but we don't actually charge that money. We don't directly have that affiliation. And Robert, good morning. Thanks for coming in. And Arnolfo, thanks for coming in. I have something on Check System. Can you help delete it? Yes. You're going to learn today how to access your Check Systems credit report at no cost. You're going to learn how to dispute the information on your Check Systems credit report at no cost as well. And Charles, thanks for coming in from LinkedIn. So what's it used for? Well, some banks and other credit issuers will use it when they're looking for information on your credit habits. Check Systems reports on non-sufficient funds, closed accounts, overdraft fees, amongst other things we'll talk about. Many people have no idea they even exist until they've been turned down for a loan or cannot open an account. The most common way people ever hear about check systems is when they apply for a bank account and they get denied. Outside of that, nobody knows about this. Like you never go get a credit card. You never go get a bank loan. You never go get that and, and realize that check systems is a barrier. Never that I've seen. Okay. But what I have seen is people go to get a bank account. They get denied opening a new bank account, a checking account, a savings account, a money market account. And the lender says, we got the information from check systems. And that's how people know about it. It's about one of the only ways outside of somebody like me teaching you that the even most consumers even know check systems exist. So how do you get a report? Well, you, check systems may access store uh, access and store and use identifying information that extent, uh, that, that extent permitted by law. And to get your report, you can go to two places. I make this real simple for you guys, okay? And gals, go to creditsuite.com forward slash check systems. It's that simple. Everything to dispute, to get your reports, to get your scores, to put security freezes, I put it all there. So I'm going to give you these complicated links, checksystems.com, forward slash web, forward slash check systems, forward slash consumer debit, forward slash page, forward slash request reports, forward slash consumer disclosure. That's ridiculous. So I put all these links at creditsuite.com forward slash check systems. And then that way you can easily access this information and I'll show you that page as well. So you can go to either place. You can take a screenshot and go directly to check systems in order to get this. Okay, or you can just go to creditsuite.com forward slash check systems and you'll be able to find a way to get your credit report uh, right there as well. So let me look here real quick. I can't even uh, plug in uh, our own um, domain for some reason. Okay, I found it. So let me pull this up to show you exactly what this looks like. And I will do that as we continue on. Okay, so um, you're going to need to verify that you're over 18 years old and you're gonna have to input your date of birth, your address and your social security number in order to get that report. They will not give you the actual report unless you are actually coming in and giving them that information, okay? So something to keep in mind. Okay, um, we're gonna pull up again, just pulling up check systems real quick. I should have had this already pulled up. Okay, so this is what I have put together for you guys. So if you go to creditsuite.com forward slash check systems, you can see you can get your report, you can get your score, security freezes, you can lift a security freeze, you can add a security alert, you can dispute through them. Everything you need is at creditsuite.com forward slash check systems. Now don't leave me just yet. I've got a lot of other cool stuff that's going to cover that's going to help you with your disputes, et cetera. So you'll need to indicate if you have been declined an account during the past six days, you're going to ask if you're accessing the report because you've been declined for something uh, and where check systems was actually used in the decision process. And to request a report on behalf of somebody, they're going to have you sign a power of attorney. So if you need to do that for somebody else, for some reason, they're going to have you do a notarized copy of specific written instructions signed by the consumer and a power of attorney. Pretty rare that you're going to probably do that, but I wanted to mention that. The company keeps track of check fraud. They also record non-sufficient funds and overdrafts, all of the ones that you've had. And they also give you a credit score, a check systems credit score that's accessible by these financial institutions. Well, guys, do me a favor. If this is new to you, if you're learning things here, hit the like button, hit the love button. It shows me I'm on the right track and lets the social channels know that this information is valuable and helps them bring people in as well. Hit the like, hit the love button, crush those buttons and hit share as well. So when you privately sell a car or a home, you want the buyer to pay you or get a loan to pay you from a reputable lender. Well, Check Systems alerts credit issuers when a borrower has a history of poor accounts management. And if a private buyer doesn't get funding from a reputable lender, it's a cue that you might not be a good risk. And again, when you get denied for credit financing, it's one of the most common ways that you actually uh, figure out that this happens. I just had that happen myself. I got denied for jewelry insurance and found out that like one of my car companies reported me late when I wasn't late. I didn't have to pay a payment during the COVID whole thing. So I've got to get that fixed. But again, most of the time we learn about this stuff 
because we oftentimes apply and get denied and they tell us the report that's actually being used. So just like a big credit reporting agencies, check systems offer security alerts and freezes. So if you think you've been a victim of identity theft, then a check system alert and freeze can save you money in the long run. It's particularly important in the wake of the big data breaches like we saw in 2017 with Equifax. So how do you fight check fraud? I thought this was interesting and check systems offers it. So we'll dive in. Since most check fraud starts with the theft of a check, keep checks as safe as possible. Reconcile bank statements as soon as you receive them so you're aware of account activity. Do not write your pen on debit or ATM card or anywhere in your wallet or checkbook for a thief to find. Shred old checks and bank statements before you throw them away. So I thought that was some valuable information from them on how to prevent check fraud. And also fill in the payee line and the amount line completely on any checks you write. Do not leave blank spaces that someone can alter. Do not provide your bank information over the telephone unless you're certain who's receiving it and why. Do not place outgoing mail in an unlocked box and install a lock on your mailbox. It seems weird, but okay. And cut a slit in the mailbox large enough to slide mail through, but not large enough to fit a hand through. I don't know. That's their advice, not mine. But anyways, some advice that I thought was relative for fighting check fraud. So Check Systems offers information on the consequences of mishandling the checking account as well. This is to maintain good debit history. Your debit history contains facts about you, your positive checking account history, stuff like that. But it's made available as permitted by law to current prospective financial institutions who want that information about you. So you want to make sure you protect this information because you don't want it to be messed up because we're talking about a lot of loans and credit lines and credit cards that can get denied if you do. And debit history may also be used by companies accessing your credit worthiness. We talked about a debit history can include items like your checking account closures, any returned or bounced checks, um, any how many financial in institution inquiries you've been made about you, how many people are looking into these reports, how many check orders you've placed, and how often. I thought that was pretty interesting because if uh, if they are if anybody wants to know at will how many checks you're ordering and how often. That's actually pretty interesting. It gives them a good idea of how many bills you're paying on a regular basis by check. So some interesting things that I didn't think would be included on those reports. So consequences of a poor debit history, your bank could charge fees for each overdraft. The place you wrote the check to can also charge fees or refuse to take checks in the future. You could receive calls or letters asking you to repay the money. Your name and account information can be reported to a check verification service. So obviously, a lot of consequences you suffer um, if you have that poor debit history, which is why they're giving you tips to prevent it. Reporting your name and accounting info for a check verification service could cause your checks to be declined. At point of sale, your bank can close your bank account. Um, and you could report your close to check systems. As a result, other banks could refuse you. Bottom line is you need to keep an eye on check systems and follow the, some of these tips to make sure that your checking accounts are protected. Because if you don't, it's not just a problem with that institution. You could have problems opening other savings accounts, other money market accounts, other checking accounts. You could be writing a check at a grocery store like Publix and they just deny it because they won't accept your checks anymore. A lot of consequences you suffer if this happens, and I've known somebody very close to me that this happened, uh, broke into the car, stole purse, stole checking account, and all kinds of havoc was created by the theft of that checking account. So this is why this stuff is so important. So Check Systems has credit scores, okay, and they have their own unique algorithm, um, different from the consumer reporting agencies. Their scores range from 100 to 899. A higher score means lower risk. You want the highest score you can get. You can go to creditsuite.com forward slash check systems to get your score. There's the link to go directly to them. It's long, which is why I give you a shortcut link. And you can also request their credit score online without paying for it. They are going to ask for your driver's license number. They are going to ask for your social amongst other things. Uh, so again, it's free for you to get your report. It's free for you to get your score. Now, this was actually uh, brought up by um, Arnolfo where he says, hey, how do I dispute information? Well, a check systems report aren't 100% accurate or as no consumer credit reports I've ever found. You have the right to dispute any errors, inaccuracies, or incomplete data. Um, you're going to need or they're going to want documentation to do this. You're also going to want to keep these details organized. When you sent the dispute, what you're disputing, what you provided to them when you're disputing it. If your dispute is over or, or is over more than one item, then that has to be clear. You have to be clear on exactly what it is you're disputing with them. Now, you can go to creditsuite.com forward slash check systems to dispute, or you can go right here to their actual link. I've given you the long link you can go to through check systems directly. Uh, this video that they have there only takes a minute to watch, and it gives you information. It's not a good video, but it does walk you through from them the process of actually disputing with them. But again, it's not complicated. You pull your report, you pull your score. 
you see stuff that's wrong or you don't think is accurate, then you'd say to them, hey, here's my report. I always take a screenshot of what's on the report. I write a Word doc. I say, hey, I'm disputed. This information is not accurate. It's preventing me from getting financing. Here's a screenshot. Here's what's wrong. Here's what needs to be fixed. Now, it's easier if you provide documentation proving you're right, but they'll just they'll process the dispute even without the documentation. And I find places like this that don't get a lot of disputes tend to remove the information instead of go back and forth with you and fight back. So they would like to see documentation with the dispute, but if you don't provide it, you're st typically still going to be okay. Hey, Skip, thanks for tuning in. Um, Azella, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Charles says credit unions will let you open an account, but it will be restricted, but won't tell you that. And that's Charles uh, giving you a good tip that even if you are open, uh, are able to open an account, they could have restrictions on the account because of information from check systems. Robert says, how do you get a report for your business? Well, there's a lot of credit reports. Uh, check systems is consumer credit. This is basically how you're really managing. It will affect your ability to get money in the business space, but it's really has to do with your personal checking account history, not business. Business credit reports you can get from DMB, Equifax, and Experian. And real estate business credit and my my Yonkun says uh, great information. Thanks for tuning in. So great, a few ways to dispute. You can dispute online, fax, mail, or phone, or directly at the source. You can go through the bank and dispute it. Not what I would recommend. You really should dispute directly online. If you go to your bank, they're going to advise you to do the same. Check systems contacts the furnisher, the person that gave the information of the alleged incorrect information within five days of getting your dispute. The furnisher then investigates. The investigation is complete within 30 days or 21 days for residents of Maine. Then action is taken either to amend or delete information or to maintain the status quo. Same way all disputes are handled. You dispute through check systems. Check system sends the dispute through the furnisher that supplied the information. The dispute is sent through a computer system called EOSCAR. Okay, then what happens is the furnisher says, yes, it's accurate. It's not accurate. Remove it, delete it, whatever. And then the investigation is complete and they take the appropriate action. The dispute online, you can go to creditsuite.com forward slash check systems. I also gave you the direct link with them. It's long, which is why I gave you the shortcut. Verify that you're over 18. Minors cannot dispute via the internet. Input your date of birth, social address, and that's and the information that's incorrect. And that's what they will investigate. Enter the requested information, including your check systems ID. You get that from your check systems report, which is why you need your report before you dispute. And there's only one, it, it, there's only one of these that's on your report. You can dispute multiple items then, but these are entered in separate fields. You can then add documentation via upload if you dispute online, supporting documentation showing the information is incorrect. Investigation should be done within 30 days. That's a requirement per the Fair Credit Reporting Act. If you add information during the investigation, that can add 15 more days to the process if somewhere along the way you send in like additional documentation, for example. Therefore, it pays to provide all the information in your dispute initially, and you'll get this thing resolved preferably uh, typically within 30 days. Disputing by mail by writing to Check Systems, Inc., Attention Consumer Relations. Here's their address, 7805 Hudson Road, Suite 100, Woodbury, Minnesota, or Woodbury, in, uh, um, Word Minnesota. I think that's right. Yeah. MN's Minnesota. I think so. Five, five, one, two, five. Okay. So that's how you want to dispute by mail. You might want to take a screenshot of that. Uh, I gave you the link at creditsuite.com forward slash check system to dispute online, but you can dispute through mail at this address. Okay. And dispute correspondence must include your full name, your social, your current mailing address, your consumer ID if available. You are going to have that because you're going to have your report before you dispute. Identify the information being disputed and the specific name of the nature of the dispute. What's wrong with the dispute? Why are you disputing that information? Okay, you can dispute by phone by calling Consumer Relations at 800 513 7125. That's 800 513 7125. You can select the option to speak with the rep. You must have your report in hand. When you call, they're going to ask for your identification number from your report. You can dispute by fax, by mailing or faxing it to 602 659 2197. 602-659-2197. And my advice is to dispute online or dispute by mail. I wouldn't dispute by phone or fax. Uh, so you make sure everything is correct if you do it that way. Information you can dispute, personal and reported information, inquiries initiated by consumer action, uh, courtesy, uh, check cashing, uh, retail information, history of checks ordered, social security and driver's license validation number can be disputed as well. Uh, you can really dispute anything on that report that's inaccurate. You have the ability to dispute anything on there that you believe to be inaccurate. Non-sufficient funds you don't think are there, accounts that were forced to be closed that you don't think are correct, all of that. 
security alerts. If you want to be alerted of change, you can put a seven-year security alert on your credit report. So if anything changes on check systems, you get an alert. You could do that at creditsuite.com credit suite forward slash check systems. There's the full link if you want to go there. And this requires the use of a paper affidavit, which must be notarized. If you suspect you've been the victim of identity theft, it won't hurt to add a check systems alert. So again, a lot, same as alerts on your consumer credit reports. If you think you're the victim of identity theft, they're going to typically want a police report. And then you're going to have to come in and provide validation uh, that you were the victim of identity theft typically for them to be able to put a seven-year security alert on your credit report. You can place a security freeze on there as well at creditsuite.com forward slash check systems. Again, verify you're 18 years old, social security number, address, date of birth. They'll give you a PIN number and you can lift a freeze. I put a link to lift the freeze at creditsuite.com forward slash check systems. And again, you could take a screenshot of this or take a shot with your phone. There's the full link, but there's no reason for the full link. You just go to creditsuite.com forward slash check systems, click the short link, and it will take you uh, to their longer link, but you have it there if you want it. Getting check systems to work for you. Take advantage of the information they provide. Okay, get alerts when there are changes to your file. I would do that. Dispute errors once you spot them. Place a security freeze if you need one. And don't ignore them, okay? They could be the difference between getting the money you need and not. But keep in mind, you know, a lot of people ask me about security freezes. And here's my advice to you. Don't freeze these credit reports. Consumer, business, you know, checks, don't freeze anything unless you really legitimately were a victim of identity theft. Because it throws up all kinds of red flags when you have security freezes. Lenders, credit issuers, nobody likes it. It gives them red flags and it makes it harder for you to get money when you actually do that. Um, instead, you get the inside info like you have now. Now you know these reports exist. Now you know the scores exist. Now you know how to get the reports, get the scores, get alerts, dispute information. So go get the information lenders are secretly using about you, update it to make sure it reflects a positive impression of you, and then let it roll. Put an alert on there and be alerted when anything else is added. So what I'm saying is craft the credit reports that you want lenders and credit issuers to see. I'm not saying do anything shady or illegal. I'm just saying get your report. You know it's there. Get your score. Know what it is. Know the type of things they're looking for so you can get good scores. Dispute inaccurate information to get it removed. Now, you don't care if lenders and credit issuers see it because it reflects positively on you, not negative. So don't try to hide behind security freezes. Instead, get the reports, get the scores, update the actual reports so they reflect positively on you. And then you turn it from a negative into something that actually helps you get money, not something that prevents you. So remember, Check Systems is, uh, isn't a personal credit reporting agency, but they do work with banks and lenders. They are regulated under the FCRA. They do look at the account closures, uh, NSFs, how often you're ordering checks, uh, you know, anything negative on the bank account, forced closures of bank accounts, they do monitor all of that stuff. Okay. They advise you to basically look out for check fraud. Make sure that you're protecting your checking savings information so it doesn't hurt your scores with them that then hurt your ability to be able to get credit and financing. If you do get your reports and scores, and I showed you how to get them for free, then dispute the information that's inaccurate by mail, by phone, by fax. Okay. I gave you all the information to do so. And it's only going to help you. If you provide uh, supporting documentation, if you have it to show that what they're reporting is wrong. If you don't have it, don't supply it. But if you do have it, supply it. And then get, it, get an alert. Why not? I mean, why not get an alert anytime anybody looks at your check systems report or, excuse me, anytime any information changes on the report? It, it's no cost. You might as well as go ahead and get that done. That way, you got your report, you got your score, you disputed it, you fixed it, you know it's beautiful, it's, it's exactly the way you want it. And then you come in and then you put an alert on there. And if anything changes, then you're aware of that. And just keep in mind, it takes about a month for those disputes to be able to process. So if you got value from this, hit the like button, hit the love button. That helps me and hit the share button and give us a call. If you'd like a free consultation to get your business credit reports for free, Dun & Bradstreet Equifax Experian, we do that for you at no cost, saves you 249 bucks. We go through them. We give you tips and tactics to improve your business credit. We tell you all the loans and credit lines you can qualify for right now. We look into things like the secret information lenders and credit issuers get behind the scenes. We call fundability. We get a fundability report. We actually look at all these things that are wrong and help you fix those things to have the best chance of getting money. It all happens with a free consultation. You could Give us a call at 877-600-2487. You can also uh, email us info at creditsuite.com or schedule your consult at creditsuite.com forward slash consult. And um, 
And what's up, Facebook? I appreciate it. Shane Morton, thanks for coming in. If you got value from this, then go like and subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the love button. Hit. I, I'm seeing in real time. Not a lot of you are liking this. I, I don't. Did I do a bad job? I don't know. I think I think I did a pretty good job and taught you a bunch of stuff you don't know. If so, hit the like button. Hit the love button. Share this with somebody um, as well, or hit the share button. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you subscribe on YouTube, click the bell beside the actual subscribe button and select all to be notified. We go live Tuesday and Thursday at 1, 11 o'clock on Wednesday, all Eastern. Also, go to creditsuite.com. At the top right of our page, you can access all of our social channels. We have daily tips at places like Instagram, Twitter, uh, Insta or, or, or Facebook. We also have hundreds of training videos on YouTube. Um, our lives are stored on YouTube and LinkedIn. I have daily information I'm putting out on my LinkedIn channel as well. And we have a podcast, the business credit financing show. Man, I just had this guy on my podcast today. I interviewed this was, it was unbelievable. Like the guy has a system that is going to be, I think the future of payroll where people can have an ATM card and they can actually access their due payroll in between pay periods. Like it helps with retention and it helps uh, the actual customer or the actual employee be able to get money when they need it. That's a kind of guest that we have on our podcast, a business credit financing show. You can access that at the top right of our page, creditsuite.com. And Becky says, love your ideas. Thanks, Becky. Charles says, hey, Ty, thanks. You're awesome. You're awesome, Charles. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you very much, very much, everybody for tuning in. And I will talk to you uh, on our next live stream, which if you're watching this live is tomorrow, Thursday at one o'clock Eastern. We talk about more cool ways to make sure you improve your fundability and can get the most money at the best terms for your business. Thank you very much.